just before coronavirus because I don't you know, it was at McDonald's we would sit in the lobby and they there were all the chess players there were there were about f six men and I always wanted to walk up and, and challenge them because I, I'm much more smarter than than I look you know and people judge on perceptions I actually beat a really good chess player who who <laughs> I mean, he was being boastful you know the fish was was this big but he's gonna say it was like that big right like that big he was really very boastful and he didn't know that I, I played an AI in artificial intelligence chess program who you know AIs could beat the strong the smartest chess player in the world it's been done you can look it up on YouTube man 26 minutes summarizing it up all up uh, see sometimes it's okay you, you I see I said 7 15 <laughs> and 25 <laughs> Oh man, but I want to finish it at 27. That's another good number for different reasons. But um, yeah, I mean, you don't. Uh, there needs a balance, right? You know, I'm telling you, why can't you blend spirituality with science? I think that's really beautiful. They're not arch rivals, you know. There's that's something that goes on within our society, you know. Like, hey, I think there's Republicans make a lot of sense in some things, and other things, I think Democrats do. Why do I have to? Like, you have to pick one side. And then you had to stick to that one side, no matter how evil or how much you disagree with one subject. Like, you know what? How, why can't I just vote for a third party then? You know? So I, I'm not going to vote for either. I think both men, if I was to meet both men and talk to them individually and they get to know me, maybe I would learn sides of them that they're not on TV. You know, side of them that they're only their children see, a very intimate side. So I know they're both. Personally, personally. You know, who I would love to see the president would be like a philosopher king that Plato talked about. You know, a, a person who's a dictator. <laughs> a king, right? Who um, who has a heart of gold, right? A heart that sees like the criminals should be uh, loved. The cops should be loved, right? The person who you're, you're, you're the other, you know, you guys should love each other, man. That's what Jesus said. He says, love thy enemy. And I, I don't think people really understand what that means, you know. Because if you love that enemy, you know, we will be much more peaceful society. You know, and I, the way I see things, that the, the I see, see, that's the thing, I don't really align with either. You know, I, I got, I'm a third party kind of guy, you know? And I, I'm, I'll really stop at a 27 because I feel like it's almost over. But, um, you know, just, uh, and, and this is the thing, like, hey, man, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, right? People have been talking about, a race war for many years now, right? And I remember when in 2007, at my community college, it was a white dude, and like, we're all gonna shoot each other, and we're all gonna fucking, it's gonna be a war on the streets. And like, you're fucking stupid. What do you mean? You know, it's gonna be a race war. What well, you watch and see. <laughs> and I was, it was 2007, so that was like 13 years ago. And uh, now it's 2020, I'm like, maybe he wasn't that uh, wrong, you know? And, uh, but I'm sure gonna try everything possible to uh, to just give you my opinion. You know, you never know opinions. Um, maybe reach one person, and that one person will do a lot with it more than me.